Hey, what's up everybody? This is Greg, AKA D Scavenger, looking real homeless right now. I uh, just wanted to do a pickups video just because I haven't done one in so long. Uh, but I actually have, as you can see by the big pile of games over here, I uh, have some cool stuff that I picked up um, through different yard sales, a couple thrift stores, and then the Goodwill shopping site. I don't know if anybody else has ever gone to that. Uh, but if you browse the Goodwill um, online shopping site, you can come up with some pretty good stuff. And that's exactly what I have for you guys today. So uh, let's check it out. So I pretty much know what each pile is just based on where I've picked it up. Um, so we'll just kick things off. This one was um, a thrift store that was like a, I don't know if it, it's located anywhere else, but AMVET, Team AMVET. Um, I guess they do a lot of work with veterans, so you know I was really happy with the stuff I picked up there. Uh, I had a few just random carts like this. So we had Road Rash, um, this one, Crackdown, um, which was pretty funny to pick up there. Uh, I was pretty happy about this one too because I've been looking for this Comic Zone. Uh, I saw it on Craigslist and I was a little apprehensive to pick it up, but then I ended up seeing it at the thrift shop and I was happy it was there. Um, and I believe this was also um, from the thrift shop. I might be mistaken. I might have picked this one up off the Goodwill shopping site, but I'm pretty sure I got this one also at the thrift shop. Um, Mega Man 3, pretty happy about that. There was, I mean, prices varied, but they weren't expensive by any means. Um, so we had that one, and then Super Spike Volleyball and World Cup. I don't think anybody cares too much about that, but always a cool thing to pick up. Um, and then I was really happy at the amount of PlayStation games and Dreamcast games. Um, Soul Fighter, I picked up. Ducati World Cup, and... Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, actually, this one snuck in. This is another one from the Goodwill shopping site. I lied, I'm a big liar. Um, but I picked this one up for, I think about $30, um, if I can remember right. And it came with just a few other small pieces. Um, I had so much that, um, you know, just like the World Series baseball that I picked up here and there from the thrift shop while I was shopping the online um, auction site for Goodwill, but really happy about this. I've never owned Sonic Adventure 2, and I have actually never played Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, I played through one quite a bit. That was the first and actually only think game for the first couple of months that I had the Dreamcast. I was only 14 at the time, um, but the only game that I had, I never played two, so I'm really looking forward to even just my first playthrough of this. Um, and these for sure, I'm not lying anymore, came from the from the um, thrift shop. I know because I picked them up consecutively. Um, there was a bin of actually like 30 PlayStation 1 games, um, but sometimes you have to watch your spending, so I only picked up a couple, but I'm pretty sure I grabbed you know the best ones I could. It was also 50% off day there, so I got some great deals on some of these. Um, so Parasite Eve um, has the discs that are included. Um, they're in really great condition. The case is in really great condition. I was happy about that. I think I have about three, maybe four copies of this game. Um, Quake 2, PlayStation 1. This was part of the PlayStation 1 games that I found there. And you can see most of the discs don't even have a single scratch on them. Uh, really great condition. Really happy about that. Sorry, there's a little blank spot in the video. I had to stop because somebody was calling me and it was interrupting the video. But anyways, uh, MDK1, um, I've never, I played MDK1 on actually a Mac, an iMac back in the day because it was included, I think, with the computer. Uh, but I mean, the disc, come on, that's awesome condition. Um, the instruction book is in great shape as well too and so is the case. Um, I have MDK2 on Dreamcast, but I'm really glad to pick this up. Um, Mortal Kombat 4, I was really happy to grab this. I used to have it, I believe on 64, a game I played quite a bit. Um, this one was the first one to get that, you know, arena 3D style combat and you'll see each of the discs are, you know, in phenomenal shape. I'm actually really sad that I didn't pick up more games um, just because they were such a great deal. But, you know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Um, and then as well, Duke Nukem. 
Um, Time to Kill is one of you know a lot of people's favorites, so I was really glad to to pick this up. Um, again, game is in phenomenal condition, and I was really happy with the PlayStation. A lot of games that I picked up there. Wish I could have got more, um, but you know I made made a few sacrifices to get some of the other stuff that I really wanted to get. So. I was bidding back and forth and looking at a few different lots and this one seemed to go untouched for about I think it was $30 when it was all said and done um, so baseball simulator um, was a complete inbox title that came with it um, it was a four game lot um, so I ended up picking up baseball simulator um, don't know much about it actually. I just knew it was in box with the lot that also came with Super Mario Brothers 3. Um, this was the real reason that I even bid on it. Um, I had seen another lot that was going uh, just a game by itself and I've always wanted this game complete in the box because I never had it when I was a kid. So I thought, you know, what a great time to pick it up, especially if it's not that expensive. Um, box is in really great condition. I was really surprised. Um, wow, I just noticed a small tear in it right here. But anyways, the rest of it, and I can't remember if it does or does not, but I believe it had the instructions um, with it. I pulled them all out at one point. Um, so, oh, I'm not going to mess with that. Maybe, I don't want to bend it. And then, hoops, I keep seeing this one pop up on the... Um, Goodwill auction site so I just it was part of the bundle so I picked it up uh, same thing goes with Airwolf um, this game is a helicopter game um, kind of arcade style but this one also too um, came complete in box so pretty pretty excited to see that this was also a part of it um, part of the bundle but this one I picked up separately um, I also have never seen in person, uh, Super Mario Brothers in its original box. Um, this is just some uh, wrap on the outside. So I left it on just because I didn't want to damage the case anymore. Uh, but it's in pretty good condition. Uh, maybe like a C grade condition. I haven't opened everything up, but I'm pretty sure that all the contents is inside. I haven't had any bad luck so far. And so last but not least, this is what I picked up actually the other day. Um, off of Craigslist, this nice uh, lot of Genesis games. The guy wanted uh, forty bucks for um, the whole the whole lot of Genesis games. He was going to do ten dollars a piece, and I tried to get him down to thirty five, um, but we we ended up settling at forty because he didn't want to get rid of it for lesser price. Um, the first thing that interests me about this was actually that I thought one of the games was. Hyperstone Heist, uh, the Ninja Turtles game. I have Turtles in Time, but I've always wanted a Hyperstone Heist. But I lucked out because um, it ended up being a great lot, even though it was Turtles in Time and not Hyperstone Heist. But I'm still happy. Uh, we had Pac-Man The Adventures 2. Oops. Hard Driving, never played that one. Uh, of course, the Sonic, the Not For Resale, that everybody sees completely everywhere um, so everything's complete in box we got Sonic Spinball um, I think this is my first copy I don't know if I have one lying anywhere else but everything came complete in box instructions um, I'm not too big of a Sega fan I just been collecting them as I go uh, but I ended up with quite a bit so I'm kind of happy I finally ended up with a box even though it's in terrible condition uh, for Sonic 3 but I do have some other boxes I can replace it with. Um, Aladdin, I probably have about three or four copies of this game. Um, I don't have the box, so this is pretty cool. Um, Alter Beast, um, I was glad I picked this up too. Um, this is one game that I wanted. I know it's not worth that much, but I never had it complete in box. I had one copy lying around and I lost it at some point between one of my moves, but um, pretty happy I picked that up and then of course, Turtles in, uh, Turtles in Time. I wish it was another Turtles in Time. Um, Tournament Fighters. Um, I have this on Super Nintendo. Uh, of course, I don't have it on NES. I really would like to have it. I was a little disappointed, though, that this was the reason that I went for the lot. And the cover of the game is actually torn. 
Um, but I really feel like 40 bucks was well spent considering the amount of games that I got. Um, same thing again with the Sonic 2, um, the not for resale cart and the game case. Um, so everything's complete in box there. And then the Lion King, of course, uh, everybody's favorite game they love to hate. So again, everything complete in box. Um, pretty happy about that. Cart is probably the best one in the bunch um, that looks to be less weathered than all the others. And then last but not least, Jurassic Park. Um, I believe, I don't know if this is the same one that was on Super Nintendo, which it looks like it's a little different. I think the Super Nintendo version was top down, um, and then this one looks like the 2D side scroller. Um, but yeah, there was 11 games in total um, out of the Genesis lot here. 11 games in total here. Uh, I picked up five complete inbox Nintendo games for the NES. Um, the PlayStation games that I picked up that are probably scratching the crap out of the cases um, here. You know, the random other Genesis games and the Nintendo games here, including Mega Man. Thanks everybody for checking out this massive pickups vid. Um, you know, I appreciate you guys checking out the channel. Please like and subscribe. You can find me on Twitter at DScavenger. Uh, I post some of my pickups there, uh, but I hope you guys like the video. Thanks for checking it out, and I'll see you guys next time.